Well, what's up, peeps? Finally, Thursday's cooking video. Today, we're gonna cook a Turkish dish called Iskender. I don't know, Iskender. Take them out of the freezer, but here they are six white pitters. We need some parsley. I'm gonna use flat leaf parsley. Irish beef. It doesn't have to be Irish. Any kind of minced meat will do. Um, I use the one. I normally get the less than 5% fat meat, minced meat, but for this I prefer the one with a bit of fat in. Not ideal if you're trying to avoid fat, but once you've cooked it, a lot of it will, will leave the meat anyway. Um, as usual, passata. This video makes me realise I use a lot of the same ingredients actually for the best food. Um, pepper flakes, salt and pepper as always, tomato puree as well. Um, an onion, I'm going to use a white one, I think it's better for this. Um, a fresh tomato, I love beef tomatoes, so that's what I've got here. Some yoghurt, I've got Turkish yoghurt here. Plain yoghurt. And we're going to use some mushrooms, I'm using four mushrooms. You don't have to put mushrooms in this if you don't like mushrooms. Um, there is a variation without mushrooms as well, but I'm going to make it with mushrooms because I love mushrooms. Let's go. So we're going to need a pot for the sauce. Um, we're going to need a dish, anything that can go in the oven to put our adana in and also to mix it up in here as well. I like to make mine in three separate dishes. I'm cooking for free, so it's always nice to just be able to eat out of the dish. Um, let's start. I'm going to chop up the mushrooms first. Okay, that's that. Right, we're going to put this in some olive oil. So let's get this on. Right, let's get our mushrooms in. Fry these quite thoroughly before you put the other stuff in. Seasoning, pepper, salt, sata and the tomato puree in and we're gonna leave that to simmer on one. While that's doing its thing, we're going to get our mince. Right, we're going to chop our onion up into small bits. Onions chopped. This is what our mushrooms look like. So we're going to start adding the other ingredients now. Tomato puree. I'm at the end of this, so I'm just going to use what's left in here. And then we're going to put the passata in. And turn it right down to the lowest setting. So we're going to leave this to simmer on one now. We're going to put our mint straight in here washed a bunch of parsley about this much just chop it up put that in with the mince as well we're gonna put all our seasoning in salt pepper and some chili flakes We forgot to put chili flakes in, in the sauce. Let's do that as well. Chili flakes on our mince. About a tablespoon will be enough for this much mince. And then we're going to mix it all together. Try and make it like a meatball, basically. A huge one. You can put as little or as much chili as you like. You could put a lot more than I did. My kids don't like it too chilly, so I don't make it too hot. And we're going to make two adanas for each person. I always rock when I do stuff like this. I've only noticed because I, when I watch my video back to edit it, I'm like, stop rocking. So 
So we're going to put these in the oven at about 200 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes, depending on how thick you're making yours, ready to go in the oven. This is what our sauce looks like. We've turned it off now, just leave the lid on it. While we're waiting for the other night in the oven, we're gonna cut up our parsley and our tomato. This is just gonna go on the top. We're gonna cut up our pita breads. I'm gonna use one each, edible pieces. And we're gonna put this in the bottom. Right, we're almost done with the Ardana. We're just gonna wait a little bit for that now. I'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce on the pit of bread and just spread that around. We're gonna brown it a little bit in the oven as well. And then we're gonna put a bit of yogurt on. And then for the finishing touch, we're just gonna put our tomatoes on. This looks gorgeous. I didn't actually make quite enough sauce. Mm, the best bit. Look at that. That is so nice. You can cook them in the individual dishes as well, the Adanas. So you get the oil at the bottom, but that's mostly grease. And because I have to try and be careful because I had my gallbladder out, I have to try not to eat too much um, fat. Beautiful. I'd say that's a 9 out of 10. If I had a bit more sauce, it would have been a 10 out of 10. Shouldn't talk with my mouth full. So I'm going to say see you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.